every document that you need make sure that you have it keep it safe because if you lose it that is the end of the journey so just to avoid problems to avoid troubles while coming back at the airport with the immigration people then you have to provide the right documents so if you have it good for you if you do not have it then it will be so so hard for you to come hey 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 hello guys how are you all doing welcome and come back to our youtube channel thank you so much for stopping by and thank you for clicking this video if you're new here you're much welcome and if you're a returning subscriber you're always welcome and i always mean again gang my good name is polly j thank you so much for stopping by and thank you always for supporting me if you're new here if, if this is your first time to come across this channel once again you're welcome and don't be a stranger please do not forget to subscribe share like this video and also let's have a conversation down in the comment section so i just want us to go straight to our today's uh, topic or what we are going to talk today and today i've just felt like you know we have so many people who are traveling or pe many people who are going for their vacations someone who is going for a vacation or is for vacation for the very very first time and sometimes you have all these questions like you don't know where to start you don't know what are the most important things that you should have and yeah you know like i have that feeling and that is why i am here for us to talk about it what you really need what are the most important things for you to look at before you travel just to avoid inconveniences and the last minute stuff okay so yeah that is why we are here and now guys let's go straight to the video instead of talking 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 straight to the video you guys So we are going to start with the very very most important things like everything in this list is important but we have those sticky things like you cannot travel without right so first i will start with the ticket uh you you need to have a hair ticket if you want to travel because without it like definitely you cannot go anywhere you cannot exit that means like there's no vacation but if you have it that is a like it's a, a deal done like you are traveling okay so that is very important though maybe for some people like they will feel like we all know this yeah you know that but it's also nice for us to include it in the list so you need to have a, a ticket number two you should confirm or maybe you can talk to your employer or whoever we, who is going maybe to book your ticket just tell them before they go let them know like you have luggage because most of the time some people they confuse and they just feel like you don't have it a lot and they end up booking for the uh, booking maybe uh um what do i say like booking a flight that doesn't allow you to have a lot of cages or maybe you will have little cages than the ones that you have so i always feel it's good for you just communicate and tell them you know what before you go to book or before you book i have a lot of cages so that they will look forward to look for the flights that are offering maybe more cages or maybe they will pay for the extra you get it yeah so that is very very important and also the other thing is now for you to know like you have gotten the ticket everything is ready like how many kgs are you supposed to have you know it has been taken you already told them that what you have but maybe what you have is more than what is supposed to be taken at the flight like what is allowed um in their ticket like the ticket that you've been given or maybe what they want you to have it might be less or it might be more than what they want so it's also nice for you now to take that time confirm how many kilograms you have because now if you've been given like you're supposed to have 40 kgs and have a 10 luggage that means you should have maximum of 50 40 plus 10 but some flights they always give you that like um if it's 40 do two bags of 20 20 others they don't even like uh, want to tell you like if you have 30 and 10 kgs is still okay if you put 40 one time it's still okay you know it all depends on the flight so if you take that time go through the what they have written in the ticket or maybe ask what if you'll not be given like the ticket immediately but just make sure that you try to catch up and ask like how have they written it like what or how am i supposed to pack my bags because if you don't pack them properly then afterwards you go to the airport and it will be a lot of work for you to 
unpack and pack again so it's always good for you to be ahead of time it's always good for you like to do the right thing before that time comes so that thing is now for you to pack you should pack accordingly like just like the same way i have told you pack accordingly uh if they said like have two bags have 40 like 20 bags two bags each 20 kilograms do the same have your 10 and luggage and uh everything will just be okay so if you have all those things like you don't you you'll not have a lot to worry about and um everything will just be okay like you won't have a lot to worry about and something else i always believe in pack as early as you can because you know by the end of the day you're still working uh being that you're going for your vacation or maybe you're going back home and come back or maybe go home and never come back that doesn't mean like you're not working you're still at work so you have a lot of things to do and the earlier the better the earlier the better if possible start checking what you really need to take with you start packing your bags and just know like even if you still have time at the last minute that last minute will just be for you to confirm if everything is okay do not forget to put everything that you need your bags should be not be excess if it's excess it's very important like it's very very expensive for you to pay at the airport like it's damn way expensive so just make sure that um you do like you just pack accordingly to how they have told you to pack i think that will save you a big time now another thing do not forget your most important documents and when i say documents definitely i also mean your identity card if not here your id card to your country your you know like if you're from kenya you should have your id with you you should have also like your definitely when you're going you'll be given your ticket you'll be given your passport you'll be given every document that you need make sure that you have it keep it safe because if you lose it that is the end of the journey and that is something that no one wants to have it like just keep every document with you and now this also will apply for those people who will be going back like those people who may be maybe going for their vacation and come back you understand if you'll be going and coming back you need to have your id like your karma your id for here if you're in saudi have you come with you if you're in dubai the same thing if you're in qatar still the same thing because nowadays things have changed if you go they will need to see like are you a resident are you you know they want to see each and everything so just to avoid problems to avoid troubles while coming back at the airport with the immigration people then you have to provide the right documents so if you have it good for you if you do not have it then it will be so so hard for you to come okay nowadays like we all have our passports like you have it's just like a gate pass but now coming back going there's no problem because you exit into your country but now coming in there is where the big problem is so like a passport is just like like a, a gate pass just for you to pass and just for you to show like you have it you can travel but now without the camera it will be so so hard for you guys so i just felt like it's something that i should share with people because i believe i believe like there are people who are still going for their vacations and maybe you might see this video and you wanted to so to know so many things before you go really what do you need you understand yeah so that's why i just felt like i need to share this with you if you have any questions that maybe i've not tackled on this topic just kindly do not forget just drop your comment and i will be able to do another video explaining the exact thing that you want to know it is it is always my pleasure like to do anything that you guys you've asked and uh yeah it always gives me that peace and i always feel good just to know that i've been able to help someone else and you know what i am back just get used to see this girl now at the screens once more and thank you so much for always supporting if you've watched from the beginning to this point and you have not subscribed ha i beg please just subscribe share like this video comment in the comment section if you have any request do not forget to request it and i'll be so so glad to hear from you guys thank you once again be blessed and let me see you in the next video bye i love you so much adios bye